Hello y'all, this is Millennium Dawn, a modern day mod, a hard sub iron 4 mod that is set in the year 2000, although it does give you the option to play in 2016. In this video we are going to play as the country called the Chechen Republic of Ichkiria and try not to die to Russia. Honestly, I'm just going to say it's basically a survival challenge. We have started, and let's go to our national overview. And here we have, say, seven national spirits, and they are non-state actor, non-power, fleet air defense system, integrated air defense system, global navigation satellite system, GPS, I think that is, essentially satellite communication system, and reconnaissance satellite system. I don't know what these last three national spirits are. They aren't usually, I don't know, they're like mechanical things more so than national spirits. And besides that, moving on to ideologies, the ruling party of, what is this, Chechnya? I thought it was the Chechen Republic of Ichkiria, just different names. But the ruling party of Chechnya is the party of independent, party of national independence. And I believe this country is, it has the nationalist outlook which I don't know yet, just nationalist outlook. And its leader is Aslan Maskadov. Historically, he was a politician and military officer who was the third president of the unrecognized Chechen Republic, Chechen Republic of Ichkiria. Prior to his time as president, he was a colonel in the Soviet military and also was widely considered as being a quite important figure in the Chechen fig. Chechen, what am I saying? Chechen victory over the Russians during the first Chechen war. With that said, things didn't really go well for him during the second Chechen war, which saw his nation effectively defeated by May 2000. And the conflict we're fighting in, in well, in January 2000, it is the second Chechen war. And in real life, obviously, this was not a war for the Chechen Republic of Ichkiria. They got beat up by Russia pretty hard. There was also after the conventional fighting was over with. There was a guerrilla war, which lasted into the mid to mid to late 2000s, I believe. We have some unassigned divisions here. I think we have like two generals, well, two lieutenant generals. And we have one general, which is the field marshal in Millennium Dawn. So let's get Azan Maskadov. And no, let's get Rusan Geliev here. He has several useful traits for defensive warfare. He has commando, guerrilla leader, desperate defender, ambusher, and that's it. We could give him a new trait later, we may do that. And let's get Aslan Maskadov to be our general, who is essentially... Generals, I think, are essentially field marshals in Millennium Dawn, I believe. And now, due to how our national spirits work, it will take us ages to go to Cold War support weapons. We'll research that stuff. Let's get some small arms from 1975, because using AK-47s isn't... It's bad. It's rough in 2000. And now, national focus not set. Let's go to the military part of the focus tree. This is a generic focus tree. Let's do army reform. We just need to do that to get some war support to get it as high as possible for more defense on core territory. And what else? No divisions and basic training. Put one, what I think is a National Guard Brigade into the queue. Get them trained and deploy them in just south of Grozny, the capital of the country. And we have two templates. The first one here, the Brigadier Brigada Nationalist Gravani, whatever, it has three light infantry battalions, a light reconnaissance company, and an artillery battery. What am I saying? Artillery battery. It has that. So, light reconnaissance company, three light infantry battalions, and, and an artillery battery in this unit here. Then the more elite unit, I guess, the Chechnya motorized units. I, I'm assuming that's what this says. But it has three light infantry battalions. It also has which makes it, well, this makes it different from its, how to say, the one, the template before it. It has a mechanized reconnaissance company, self-propelled artillery battery, and a tank company. So they are the elite troops of Chechnya. And now let's use our military factories, our single military factory, to make some ancient infantry weapons. We do have some in our, well, some in a surplus already, so we'll put them to use. And the bad news is, for these more elite units, is that we'll probably end up running out of tanks and self-propelled artillery batteries and mechanized equipment quite quickly due to how the war is going to go for us, because we're just going to get fighting so many Russian divisions. And now, let's go to our decisions here, and what can we do that could help us out? We need, using the 
I guess, the what is it, the economic decisions here. Millennium Dawn has a whole economic system. We're going to go with Arm Industries Stipend. No, that's not it. What can I do here? Lease military factories. I need like three off-map military factories for 90 days. And this will cost us a lot of money, but we need more military factories, at least temporarily. Just get us a big surplus of those, please. I beg of you. And let's get our divisions here to set them up and move these units from Shalai, Shali. Just take this province here because the reason why I'm doing this is due to the fact how province modifiers work. Shali here, well, I'm just using this province in Dagestan as an example. It's a plains type province, which means the attacker can really, they don't have any debuffs when it comes to fighting there. So if we hold the hills, even though we are abandoning core territory essentially, it might benefit us to just take it. And also, I could move some units up here. I don't know, we'll leave one division there. We'll also take this airport across the, I guess, the river from Chechnya's capital. Chechnya's capital. It would deprive the Russians of an airport temporarily. It would also give us more room between the front lines and, I would say, the capital. Because, well, Grozny. If Grozny falls, we lose immediately, I'm pretty sure. But let's some pause now. And we are going to have to worry about the Russians moving in more troops. Right now it's not so bad, but they will move in more units given enough time. So just dig in here. We're going to establish a front line. We need to hold core territory in these mountains. I mean the hills in Dagestan. Just for strategic purposes. You can see the three divisions Russia has in the region right now. In Dagestan and in... What is this up here? In Stavrop Stavropol. It is... They don't have very high organization, but they will be assembling more of their forces quite soon. So we've got to be on the lookout for that. We're just going to have to dig in as hard as we can. That is the plan. Dig in and hold. They're attacking in Dagestan. we just got to be on the lookout there. Just defend Grozny. Defend the core territory of Chechnya because of our bonuses. We need to get as high war support as possible. Just hold your ground, please. We're going to keep... We're going to save command power for now so I can get some my unit leaders, some unit leader traits. They are struggling to drive those units out, aren't they? Do I can, can I do this? Can I please just not lose my divisions too fast? Can we move some divisions from Grozny? I may do that. I don't know. I just want to last until May 2000. I'll be happy. I need a little bit more command power. Come on. A little bit more. I'm going to have to juggle divisions around as well. Move this one unit from Grozny. Move this one unit from south of Grozny over to this front line here. Although... Yeah, just do that. Get that National Guard Brigade or whatever. Move them there. Let's get the, you know, leader a trait. What can he use here? Actually, no. Let's give Aslan Maskadov the general. Well, the general and the country leader. Let's give him defensive doctrine to get him units under his command. will now have max entrenchment as a, for his general trait due to the defensive doctrine. So just dig in and hold back the enemy. We can't really expect any help, as I've said before. This is more of just how long we can survive, and the U.S. coal has suffered from suffer from something. Can we use... Okay, we can't do anything just yet. We're still just digging in for the most part. We just have to worry about tons of Russian division buildup as time goes on. If they're just busy attacking Dagestan constantly, that could benefit us. Can we use Last Stand yet, please? We need to hold the core territory we have so badly. We need to use Last Stand. We have to do it because it's the best operation we have at our disposal. So now, great, they have so many divisions attacking that province in Dagestan. It is brutal. I can't move any more divisions over either. Actually, I could. Let me deploy this unit here south of Chechnya. So that, well, no, it's actually east, well, west of Chechnya. I mean, west of Grozny. Send them over to somewhere, though. Go defend something. What's the worst? Okay, how's... I don't know. we got to really be careful here. We only have so many divisions we can call upon. They're attacking with so many troops. And these divisions are just getting battered along the, along the way also. And that command has worn off. I need to use last stand again. We're just holding our ground. Hoping the Russians eventually just get tired. Please get tired. So, they're still attacking that airport north of Grozny. It is February 2000. We've lasted a month thus far. We have about two to three more months to go. Just hold our ground continuously. And let's go to the battle screen. 
you can see just how much the Russians are throwing at the Chechen defenses right now. We have up north, for example, we have the a armored, no, we have the VDV, two Spetnaz, Spetnaz brigades, and to the east, well, in Dagestan, there is, say, three Spetnaz brigades and one motor rifle brigade, so it's pretty brutal. But we are holding out for now. We're going to have to shuffle some more divisions around, more than likely. And can we please get this focused on army reform? I need to use last stand again, don't I? Yes, yes, I do. Move this division up north. Please get them up here. No, they're fine, they're fine, they're fine. Just use last stand again. Just drag out time. Ultimately, in the long run, if I can, I'm hoping Russia will just eventually get tired and just burn through all their resources and attacking Chechnya. But I don't know if they will or not. They have a lot of units compared to us. So we got to be very... We're going to have to be very defensive oriented this entire time just let them crash into our defenses constantly and I think up north well they were not doing okay whatever we need to use let's use last stand again when possible hold our ground here come on keep shuffle this unit up here it's bad use last stand they're falling in the north of Chechnya there is a I mean is that I guess it's a Russian vehicle yeah that is a Russian motorized unit I think it's now almost end of February. We're still struggling to hold out here. Get another infantry division deployed. Well, brigade. It's not going to be highly equipped, but it's just sort of there as a reserve force. How are we doing with equipment? Not well. We can't rapidly deploy any more divisions, can we? We're running low on guns, I believe. And are we even producing enough weapons? We should be for now. Okay, never mind. We need more guns per day. This is brutal. Get the units back on that position up north. Move that unit back into place. The battered and beaten. The battered and beaten. Well, that unit. Move this unit up here. We lost positions. Just for, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Don't push. Don't push there. Don't retake it. Don't retake it. What are you doing? Don't worry about it. It's now March. We played for time there somewhat. We couldn't even get our focus. Stop attacking it. Just dig in. So we had time to dig in around Chechnya while the enemies attacked up north. So, now, I mean, dig in around Grozny. So now we're just hoping to play for time here, ultimately. We need to now move some divisions over to Dagestan, probably. Even though we don't have core bonuses on that province when it comes to defending it, it is worth it for the sake of just having, I don't know, a... Just a place with high defense, high defensive value. It is now March 2000, so we have about a few more months. Well, I think we have a month or so to go until we can beat this little well. Until we're done with, until we beat real life Chechnya's survival challenge record. And now in the focus tree, let's do military exercises to get more base war support and a little bit of army experience. Modify Officer Core. What can we do? Spirit of the Academy. Let's go with Tenacious de Defense. What can we do here? Our War. Land Doctrine Cost. What can we do? I may save up for just acquiring something relating to Land Doctrine instead of this. That might be a better call. I need more military EXP also. Yeah, I'm not getting enough daily. Just not getting enough. Just hold your ground though. Use Last Stand. Dig in. Use last stand. Keep using last stand. Are these divisions ready? Let me get all the... Let the reinforcements get the stuff they need. And someone else has lost their war before we did. The Aishish. They've lost Indonesia. That was in, like, I believe, northern Indonesia. North west Indonesia and in Sumatra. And we, we now have a lot of political power. What can we do? Let's go from mandatory service for the conscription law to, say, partial draft. And the reason why I'm doing this is so that our units will now have more attack to them. Plus, at this point, I don't know, mandatory service. I don't know. They have more defense and attack on core territory. Part, I don't know. It's so, I don't know. We're sacrificing division attack for division defense. Is it worth it, though? But is it? I'm not sure. I'm really not certain here. We need to get more army experience daily, so let's go to partial draft and see what happens after we do that. And we just got to continue to hold out here. Just dig in still. Use 
Infiltration Assault, which is another operation we have, which will grant us higher defense, I believe. Grozny is holding out relatively well. They're being attacked by the 81st Guard Rifle Motor Rifles Division, also an Air Division. I think they don't have equipment anymore. That particular unit doesn't use last stand again. We're going to burn through our political power. Now we've got to move over to protect this province here. Come on, get up north. What are you doing? Get up north. Can one unit get to the north? Do I mean south of Grozny? They're being attacked by a the Spatnaz Brigade, the 12th Spatnaz Brigade. Can we please move to defend that province? We can't. We're being pinned down too much. Can one unit just retreat away backward? Use infiltration assault again just to buy some time. We need a reprieve here. Get this next unit deployed, this third National Guard Brigade. Deploy them here. I mean, deploy them in Grozny. And they'll go out wherever. Please just go. That's our 11th unit. We have, we're struggling with equipment at this point, And we need to go defend this province here. Okay, somehow we're holding on, or we were, never mind. We're going to hold on to it longer at this point. And let's keep holding that province down. Why do they keep attacking Garazin with these beaten up units? They just have no organization to them. I mean, they have equipment, but they just don't have organization. We just got to keep holding out. Come on, defend for Chechnya here. Just hold your ground, hold your ground. And we're missing production of some things, I have noticed, but we can't do nothing about it. What can we do? We gotta improve our military support overall. Let's now do, not propaganda campaign, what can we do? Where is it at? It's like a, a decision to do pro war propaganda. So, promises of peace, war support campaign. Yeah, we need weekly war support to go up. It is now April 2000, and we have held our lines in south of Grozny good. Now we just got to try and get more equipment together. Keep holding our positions overall. They're attacking that place again. That Spetnaz Brigade is great, but they're not doing as well as they were because our units are more entrenched now. Can we use Last Stand yet? No, we can't. We now need more We need more command power at this point to use that command. But we're still digging in. It's 7th of April, so if we make it to May 1st, we're doing better than in real life. Well, well, the real life Chechen Republic by Chikiria did. Keep holding here. Keep holding. The Spetnaz Brigade, Guard, Airborne Brigade here is attacking this position at Charlie. So with some more Spetnaz troops. They have so many Spetnaz units. Do they have this many Spetnaz Brigades in real life? That is impressive. I mean, that's a lot of special forces. And now, logistics. We're not doing too good with logistics. We need more weapons. We just could get a surplus of guns. That would be ideal. And I think... If I recall, Millennium Dawn has a, how to say, a black market system. Well, not a black market system, but where can I find a national debt? That's not it. Not national debt, public war, foreign arms market. There we go. Infantry tab. We need small arms. Anybody? Can we buy it from anybody? No one? We're too broke? Too broke. Yeah, we're too broke. We don't have enough money. Oh, well. Keep holding your lines down, though, please. Defend for Chechnya. We've got to keep digging in. The Spetnaz troops don't let up. I'm not sure if they ever used that airbase we had to fall back from. I don't think they did. It's whatever, though. Use last stand once more. we got to hold on to Grozny at all costs. It is the capital. If it goes down, the rest of the country will go down with it. Because we only have one core state, and it is Grozny. So I cannot tell you enough how critical it is we hold on to that city. And in real life, I believe, during the Second Chechen War, Grozny, the city, was devastated pretty hard, and some new government was formed. It was the most destroyed city. I think the UN called it that for a while. It got really beat up in the fighting, for sure. And we're still holding our ground. We're going to maybe lose Chali. If we can get a unit over there, shift this unit there, retreat there, hold your ground, last stand. Last stand it up. We gotta just dig in more. You can see how bad it is for some of our units. They haven't had enough time to dig in fully with entrenchment here. So, what unit does have the entrenchment? Oh, it's the unit at Chechnya. I mean, at Grozny. What am I saying? The unit at Grozny is well entrenched, and that just that can just tell you how good entrenchment is for us. And also, I think it's very hard for urban city. Well, cities in Millennium Dawn are very hard to take, I believe, because we just look at this here. This particular city, urban province, for this urban terrain modifier, you can just see how bad the attack is and see how good the defense is. So we're still holding our ground. 
Let's use last stand again, please. Are we ready to do it? Come on. Come on. There we go. Rosny is now being held by one unit. One singular unit. I think it's that one that's really dug in. And we're now past May, well, 1st of May 2000, so we have outlasted the real life Chechen, well, the real life Chechen Republic of Ichkiria at this point. I think Aslan Moskovov had been forced to sort of retreat and go into hiding, but that's not the case right now. In this playthrough, we're holding ourselves down. We're holding the line for now. We just got to dig in where we can and just hope the Russians eventually get tired. Although that doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon. Let's check the casualties soon enough. Switzerland joins the UN. Were they not part of the UN? What? We're going to move a unit to another province. Do that. No national focus set. Let's do land doctrine innovations. We're going to get a land doctrine research done soon. Hold the province, please. Oh, we lost that place. I figured we'd lose it. The flat, the terrain is just not favorable for defensive purposes. And we cannot have any chance of taking it back. Can we take it back, though? Try to. We are not. It's not worth the trouble. Not worth the trouble at all. So now Grozny can be hit from several directions. Move. Can we move any more divisions down there? I don't know. And what was I going to do? Can I get those weapons, please? No, I can't. I can't afford them. Of course. Grozny is being attacked from several different angles. Move in more units, though. Please defend the city at all costs. And at least they're busy still attacking that province in Dagestan and Boynansk, we're holding there. You can just see, this is brutal. They're attacking from so many angles, like five divisions versus six divisions versus three, but we're still moving our units back and forth to Grozny. It's holding out for now. Let's look at the casualties. I forgot to look at the casualties. We have taken 1k. Russia has taken 500. And you can just see the huge disparity here in unit size, well, in division size plus factories. This is pretty... I will say it's honestly, if you look at all that, it's pretty one-sided. We're just trying to survive as long as we can. Move these units. Oh, we lost that province. Great. Just dig in. We lost Dagestan. Defend to the last man. Use the last stand. We have two provinces to our name at this point by June 2000, and it's over. I want to say it's over. We're pinned down way too much. We can't reinforce areas that need more soldiers in it. It's over. This is where... I mean, we're going to hold on for about probably another month, but I think... It's decisive now that we are defeated here. To be fair, Chechnya in Millennium Dawn just sort of, it's meant to sort of be, I don't know, it's sort of meant to lose to Russia. We've done better than AI, let's just say that. So we're still holding Chechnya, use the last stand again. I mean, we're holding Grozny. Why don't, why don't I keep saying Chechnya instead of Grozny? Keep holding Grozny, hold, hold that position south of Grozny. Also, we lasted long enough for Vladimir Putin not to win his election. And now we have a nationalist, well, a leader of Russia with a nationalist outlook, which is Vladimir Cernovsky. He leads the LDPR. And they also got a flag change. It looks like the Russian Empire. I'm not going to lie. That's the new Russian flag. We're still holding out, even though Russia may get some, may have got some new leaders. Just hold our positions. If they could just stop for a week, that would give us so much more time to dig in. On the bad, on the downside though that would give them tons of time to get more organization for their forces just defend please can we use last stand again just give us some time to rest ceasefire anyone no ceasefire okay well i tried let's use last stand again though i want to get our leaders more traits but i don't think they can get them at this time can we please get a military doctrine this is brutal we need military doctrine I mean, we just need military EXP to research land doctrine related stuff. We need more buffs for our units in the field. It is now June 27th. It's almost July 2000, and some people were killed in Pakistan. We're still holding the lines here. We may start losing in south. Once we get Grozny surrounded, it's over, because they, they can attack from too many directions at that point. It would be very, very bad. We cannot afford to lose any provinces at all this little defensive network we have keep holding our line though keep holding out just keep defending use last stand again just use last stand we're holding down two provinces how many divisions are going at grozny at this point that is four divisions well with some reserves they are getting pretty battered and beaten as they try to advance on the city and into the hills south of grozny what can we do can we get any weapons shipped over to us from 
foreign markets. I don't think we can at this point. Keep holding the line though. Hold back the tanks. What happened to our elite units, by the way? Let's check the equipment here. Our most elite units are... We have... Look at all this Russian equipment. I think our army just consists of Russian equipment. Look at this. Like, most of the infantry equipment here is Russian. It's absurd. Captured Russian equipment. Keep holding the line. Like, look at the... Like, okay, the most elite unit here. Well, all, all this equipment, all these BTRs, they're Russian. Russian equipment. T-64s. We have full tanks. Well, the tank companies of our most elite units are filled up with Russian T-64s. That is the position we're in. Are all my units like this? They just have Russian gear they're using? I guess they do, yeah. Wow. Okay then. So now we have green circles everywhere, despite our precarious position. Can we get more divisions deployed? Possibly. We're still struggling with equipment. Spirit of the Army, what can we do? Spirit of the Army. What can we do there? Let's go to our cat, our officer corps, though. Let's go to Elevated Engineering Corps to get a higher... Well, no, I don't want to do that yet. Modern Trench Warfare, Max Entrenchment. I, I don't know. I know that gives us entrenchment buffs, but we don't have time to entrench ourselves. It's just a never-ending stream of Russian attacks, Russian assaults on our defenses, which means we don't have really much time to even entrench our units. It's, just, it's that bad. They don't have any time to entrench themselves. And now, can we get a new division deployed? Possibly. Land Doctrine and Innovations is done. Now I can probably research a Land Doctrine. We're going to go with... We're doing... Go past Legacy Doctrines here. We're doing... We're doing... What is it? We're doing Guerrilla Warfare. So what can we research? What's the more ideal recovery rate? Division Attrition. Non-reinforced rate. That's encryption stuff. I guess let's do Hit and Run Tactics. We're higher reinforce rate and non non-combat out of supply penalties. Unlock that. What's next for this? We need a little bit more political power to get something here. Yeah, we need to get this IED and mind focus. That would take about a little bit more political power. I mean, military experience. But we should have no problem getting that as long as we can just hold out. Now in the focus tree, let's research land doctrine expertise to get more land doctrine research bonuses. It is, a, it is August 2000 at this point. The Chechen army is still holding together. And that is impressive in my eyes, I think. And I didn't realize this, but I think there's a different resource in this mod called Precious Metals compared to Vanilla Vanilla Hearts of Iron Fort. Did it, did it replace something? We have tungsten and aluminum. I think it replaced... I think, yeah, I think it may replace something. Rubber... Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Just keep holding Grozny down. Hold Grozny. Use Last Stand, because Last Stand is one of the best things we have in our arsenal. And can we get that tech, please? I mean, that Doctrine. No, we can't. Not yet. Keep holding, though. Russia is still not doing that well in their attacks on Grozny. As long as we can just hold these two provinces forever, I'm happy. And it is now 15th of August, 2000. How many divisions are they attacking with? Look at this. They just have no supplies also. It's bad. Low supply. That is pretty rough. That is very rough for the Russians there. And how many divisions do they even have here? We have 12 units in this army overall. So Grozny is still not doing too well. Use last stand again. Come on. Can we shuffle some more units around? They're keeping us pinned down so we can't go defend Grozny. Move to Grozny. Retreat to Grozny. I don't care. Retreat into the city and go protect it. We need to protect Grozny at all costs. It's the capital. If we lose the capital, it's over. We have... Let me, just, let me see here. How many divisions do we have? That's three, four, five, seven... 8, well, 9, 10, 11, 12, I think 13 versus 12. But they have all these tank units as well compared to us. We cannot reinforce Grozny. That is bad. we got to get to Grozny. Get to Grozny. Come on. get Fall back to Grozny. We'll keep, get one unit over to Grozny. That's better than nothing. So we had one, a couple units retreat to Grozny. Not effectively, though. Use last stand again. Whatever. One division made it into the city. So as long as one brigade can make it there, that's good for us. And can we get any more army experience? Not fast enough, I guess. That's rough. What can we do then? What can we do that can help us here? I guess maybe we could research. We can get a generic infantry. What is this about? Liberal calls for more. What? What? Okay, whatever. I don't care. I don't care about that. We have liberals wanting to change the government in this environment. 
where the country's fighting to survive and that's happening. I mean, it's just a random event, probably. Rosny is still struggling. I just cannot get some relief. It is bad. We gotta get some more units there. Get some more units to Grozny. Have one more unit fall back to Grozny. We have like eight divisions south of the capital, but just we can't dig in more. We need that political power so bad. I mean, we need that military experience. We just need a little bit more military EXP. Please, game. Please, let me have it. And Grozny is still slowly being cut down. Modify Officer Corps. What can we do? Don't worry about it. Not bothering with that. Keep, keep holding our lines, though. Just defend your positions. And what does it take to get us a... Okay, so I am going to get ourselves a... What is it here? A... Ahmed Sakayev here for the Military High Command. He's now going to be here for the Officer Corps, for the Military High Command to get us a higher infantry division attack. I guess light infantry are classified as infantry in Millennium Dawn's combat system. They should be, I would think. Okay, Grozny is doing worse now. We haven't lost any divisions. It's just that Grozny is just heavily... Somebody got elected to government. Grozny is falling still. we got to hold the line here. Just get them to stop for a day. That's all we need, a day. We now have eight divisions in Grozny and three, I mean four, south of Grozny. It is brutal. We just need some peace for like one second to reinforce the lines. One second to just get some entrenchment done and just dug up. So, we, I mean, just dig some fortifications around the city even more, but they don't stop. Look at this. Like, three divisions with five reserves. It's brutal. Now I can do something in our land doctrine tree. Let's do this land doctrine thing here to get higher division defense what am I saying higher division defense on core territory and higher max entrenchment after that I don't know what we're gonna do we're probably I'm not sure not sure at all whatever deploy the next division because it's ready we'll deploy before it's ready honestly because we just need more troops in the field dig in all you gotta do just dig in hold until the end of time it's now September it's nearly October 2000 and we're now seeing green bubbles around Grozny somehow. They're pushing forward. The Russians are. Let's check the casualties. We have taken 2K. Russians have, Russians have taken 1K. That is the casualties right now. Grozny is on fire again. we got to put that fire out. Go defend the city, please. Hold the city down. Hold the city down. Hold the city. Hold Grozny. Look at all these divisions. Tank units. Spatnaz units. VDV. Just elite. Russian special forces are everywhere very brutal fighting going on there and our units are just having to cycle back and forth between defending Grozny and defending the province south of it. It's critical that we hold on to both of these provinces though because if we lose Grozny obviously we lose our entire we lose our entire defensive and plus the country will be forced to surrender to Russia but if we also lose this province south of Grozny we will have the city essentially surrounded which is not good for us. And Adolf Augie confirms Swiss neutrality, whatever land doctrine expansion is. I mean, land doctrine expertise is done. And now, what can we do? We need some military factories, don't we? Let's go to, what can we do here? We can't do anything with this. Can we get any factories? Any factories would be ideal. We can't do nothing here. we got to be at peace. That's sort of pointless then. What can we do? we got to do something. Political reform. Do something with that. 60 days to research. We'll do that thing in the focus tree. Keep holding Grozny down. Just its green bubbles now. Good. Hold the line. Hold the line. What is the equipment looking like here for our units defending Grozny? They have, as expected, just tons of Russian equipment, like AK-74s. These ancient AK-47s have been replaced by AK-74s in Russian service. We even have some T-80s being used in the defense of Chechnya. Captured Russian weapons. So keep defending the capital here. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm doing a lot better than I thought we would. I mean, it's just a long, long, drawn-out conflict. I hope Russia... What is Russia doing? I have no clue. Do they have people lead their faction? I think some factions of the CSTO with the different... Due to the different change in leadership. So I think Armenia left, and so did the Kyrgyz Republic. I think they were a part of that, weren't they? I'm not so sure. Whatever, just keep holding our lines we got to get more units to Grozny. Fall back here. Fall back. Get to Grozny. We lose. It's over. It's over. And we are done. And, well, this has been my Chechen, well, Chechnya Survival Challenge 2000. You can check out Millennium Dawn in the video description. The link to the mod is there. If you enjoyed the video itself, make sure to like and subscribe.